Man, today was a trip. The day in the life of a grocery store worker. So, a little story time. It was kind of cool because I got to uh, chill at work for at least an hour. Um, basically what happened is a guy that comes in and steals all the time saw him come in and uh, after I got done helping this customer out, I went up front, grabbed my manager and told him, hey, you know, stay at the front door because there's a guy that always steals in here. He stayed up there for a little bit and uh, sure enough, after two minutes, uh, it was pretty quick, the guy comes uh, outside and just walks right past my manager with a bottle and some cookies. It was a big bottle, so it was like a 1.5 uh, Jose Cuevo or something. Anyway, my manager goes to stop him and the guy pulls a knife on him and says that he was going to stab him. So then the cops show up and uh, they're pretty quick because at that point it's an armed robbery. And as soon as they had got there, they uh, said they went looking for the guy. And sure enough, they came back and said that they found him. The people that saw him had to identify him. So uh, we got to go ride in the cop car and uh, go identify the guy. And uh, that took some good time out of my day. But at least we got one person that steals in our store out of the way. The cop that I talked to was uh, pretty cool too. He talked about some cars and racing and stuff like that and what he used to be into and how it is to be a cop and whatnot. So it was pretty cool. Um, I was about to start asking him some stuff about electric bikes and laws and all this and that. I told him I had a YouTube channel and what I do and whatnot, but I didn't really get too much in the detail. And I wasn't gonna film him as we were talking. That's just kind of rude, especially when uh, he was just trying to do his job real quick and uh, be on his way because I have some other calls to do. Uh, but one of these days, one of these days, I'm hoping we're gonna get a uh, get a cop in one of our videos and we're gonna ask him. I'm gonna have my helmet on, so I'm already recording with the GoPro, and I'm gonna start asking cops, you know. What's the law on electric bikes? Like, are we allowed to lane split? Are we supposed to stay on the right-hand shoulder? And if there is no bike lane, do we stay with traffic? Even if, you know, we're on a bike that possibly can't keep up with speed? Even though this one can, I'm not, I don't want to give myself away and say my electric bike does six miles an hour. But what are the actual laws? So then I could post it on my channel. But I'm, I'm going to tell you this right now, it's not going to be any time soon. It's something that you might have to uh, stick around because when I do find a cop, I'm definitely going to ask them a bunch of uh, questions. Even if it's a little bit, we might not have a lot of time, but definitely going to talk to them about some stuff. Well, what's up with you guys out there? How's it going? You guys uh, buy these bikes yet? Because they're pretty damn awesome. I was on Luna Cycles website and they are still in stock to this day they are still in stock so uh, if you guys are looking to get one I would probably order one everyone says they're supposed to get them late June or uh, early July so you might you might want to look into it I honestly want to buy another one for myself because when I do have my buddy ride with me, I would love for us to have both of the same bikes so they're equal to each other. And I feel like I love my Onyx, but it just has a little bit too many issues when we take it out that I'm a little worried for it. Um, so far, so good with the Onyx, you know, but I would rather have a dirt version of this and a street version of the Surround. And I both want them to have upgraded batteries and uh, upgraded controllers. At least an upgraded controller for one of them. And for sure, I'm already going to have the upgraded battery and controller in this one too. But I'm just waiting for light speed at this moment. I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm, I'm waiting for Brooke or Chris to get back to me about, you know, what happened with the tracking number they sent me and why it's been about, I think it's now been 10 or 11 days since they gave me the tracking and nothing's happened with it. Actually, it might be more than that. So I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated though, good or bad. And then you guys are really gonna wanna stick to when we get that light speed battery, man. That's gonna be awesome. But for the time being, I've been back at work full time and trying to uh, make videos here and there. So hopefully you guys like the content that I did. 
when I got my bike rack and took my bike uh, some places because that was uh, that was pretty fun. Ah, the bike's cutting off. It always does that like low end for some odd reason on one of the things. Oh, are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? Oh, they're gonna turn in front of me? Hopefully not, hopefully not. Okay. Good three for them too on that side. And they gotta yield. Woo! Well, here's the cop right here. Cops don't seem to care. See both those cops? They didn't do shit. Mm. Are you gonna turn? Why is your uh, why are you stopping? Oh my god, put your blinker on, dude. Even I have blinkers on a damn bike. And I use them. And these people need to turn their lights on. What the hell's going up with people today? Couldn't tell you. Could not tell you. Just one of those days, I guess. What's crazy is shortly after that one guy coming in trying to... Well, technically he did still, but he did get busted. Um, another guy came in right in between when the cops left and came back. And that guy was trying to steal because once he saw the cop standing up front, he went through one of our check stands. And he came up with a card. It wasn't even an actual debit or credit card. He just made it seem like it was a card. It was like a laundromat card or a membership card somewhere. And he's like, oh, I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to pay for this or whatever. But he had alcohol and you can tell he was like homeless. Was trying to steal it. But uh, since that cop was there, he didn't get away with it either. Make up for the time that they slow me down by. Woo, it's windy. <laughs> this bike, man, it's so fast. God, man, with 72 volts, it's gonna be insane. Can't wait. Come on, go Lexus with yellow fog lights. It's street racing, I know it. Street racing. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for the video. And uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of what day I have available, but uh, I am detailing this week. So one of my days off is not gonna be for bikes. I'm gonna be detailing. So uh, the videos might be kind of short this week. Or I'll double up on some activity that I do on one of the days off that I have. Alright guys, see you in the next one. Peace out, ride safe. Thanks for following along and uh, subscribing. And if you like the video, uh, put a like on it. I appreciate it. And hopefully you guys like last video. Last video was dope. Alright, see you guys.